Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Sam. Today, I'm going to be talking about the best post op routine that you can do after FTM chest surgery. So, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. If this is the first time you've ever seen me on your screen, hit that subscribe button down below to see more on my face. So, before I jump into this video, I just want to do like a quick little warning so that nobody sues my ass. I'm not a doctor. Shock. So, obviously, always check with your surgeon before you do any of this kind of stuff. This is what I did, and I survived. So this is the routine that I use to allow myself to get back to my normal mobility and then also work back into my normal workout schedule. Um, so it doesn't really matter whether you're somebody who worked out prior to surgery or not. It's really important that you get back your mobility. I'm currently like seven weeks post-op, I believe, and I've still got a ton of fluid in my chest. Um, you can expect that to be there for you know months after, but you, you know working out and moving your arms about and just stretching things like that, it's going to help to move that fluid out. So I'll start off beginning with what kind of surgery I have so that you can check that you're actually on the right kind of video. So I had double incision, top surgery, and my surgeon was Dr. Andrew Yelland in Torquay. The other thing as well that's important to mention is that I didn't have any complications. Obviously, if you had some complications post um, surgery, then this also again, you're going to need to check with your surgeon, just check that you're okay to do all this. Now all that boring stuff is done with, I'm going to begin talking about the stretches that I did um, which were what I used kind of from one week, no sorry not one week, like literally one day, like 24 hours post-op, to even to now, like I don't have to be doing it now, but I kind of have just added it into like my cool downs and my warm ups and my workouts and I also do, I try to do yoga every day as well, um, and I've been adding it into that as well. So I'll start off with this, I can imagine like 90% of the time your surgeon will send you home with like a leaflet that has got a ton of stretches in, It'll probably vary from surgeon to surgeon, but the basics are pretty much the same. So the first thing you're going to do is with your shoulders, you're going to bring them up and down. And you're going to do that for 5 to 10 reps. The next thing you're going to go on to is moving your shoulders backwards and forwards. And again, you're going to do that for 5 to 10 reps either way. What you'll find is when you start doing these, when you're like 24 hours post-op, these are probably going to be difficult, it's going to be very tight, you're not going to have as much movement, of course, um, but you'll find as the weeks progress. I personally, I think I did pretty well mobility and I had like full range of movement back from like three, four weeks post-op. Um, I guess I was just kind of lucky with that. Just kind of take it slowly, do not push past pain, it's not supposed to be painful. It's gonna be tight, it's gonna be sore, obviously, particularly if you're, you know, fresh, you've got stitches, you've got staples. Push yourself to a certain extent. Don't go to pain. Next thing you're gonna do is put your hands behind your head and you're gonna move your elbows towards in front of your face. What you'll find, I actually, this was the one that I dreaded doing the most when I was post-op because I could feel the staples move on my nipples, so I didn't enjoy this one. You're gonna do 10 reps of this, and what you'll also find, as the weeks progress, you'll be able to move your elbows closer out in front of you. At the beginning, you won't have much range of motion at all, but as the weeks progress, it'll get better. Next thing you're gonna do is put your hands on your shoulders and kind of make circles. You're either gonna, it's up to you. Again, I stuck to the five to 10 reps. I wouldn't really recommend doing any more than 10 reps uh, for your first sort of five, six weeks. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grasp your hands out in front of you like this and reach up. This was another one that I didn't like but again, when I first started, this was something that I could probably get my hands just out in front of my eyes. And now, as the weeks have gone on, I'm back and I can get my arms all the way up. I do have quite a lot of fluids still on my right side, so that exercise does still feel a little bit weird, but I'm definitely progressing with it. The other thing as well that they got me to do was to hold a towel and to almost do like, kind of like the motion where you're like drying your back. Um, this was really helpful actually. This isn't something that I'd ever considered I'd be doing, um, but it's really helpful to kind of get that mobility back behind there. Um, honestly, it, I think when you're first given these exercises, you're kind of daunted by it. Once you've done them a few times, it's, uh, you know, I'm not going to say it's easy because at the beginning it's not, but you see the progression all the time. So it's not also good physically, but it's also good mentally because you can really see every single week and every couple of days as well that you are just progressing all the time. So those are the stretches that I was told to do for the first two weeks and I was actually told to do them six times a day, um, which for the first week I was definitely doing. By the second week I was probably doing them maybe like four times a day. Um, and like I say, my sheet of paper said that once it had been two weeks I didn't need to do them, but I'm now nearly seven weeks post-op and I'm still doing them. 
just because it's not going to hurt um, and it's just great for mobility. So moving back on to working out. So I did cardio at about four weeks, which was literally like the most boring thing I've ever done. I don't do cardio, it's boring as shit. Once I hit six weeks, that was when I was told that I was able to get back into the gym and work out. Obviously, working out very slowly, not going in there and smashing weights straight away. What I actually did was go into the gym and do a full body workout and I literally, the lightest gym, uh, the lightest gyms, the lightest dumbbells at my gym are two and a half kilograms. So I was literally doing two and a half kilograms on everything. I did a couple of cable exercises, I did some body weight exercises. Um, and that was about it. I don't even really think I, I sweated that much. It was more about the movement as opposed to the weight. So I've been back in the gym now for about a week and I'm slowly adding in more weights, which is absolutely fine as long as you're not hurting, as long as you know nothing appears to be damaged, um, then you're all good to keep on adding on the weight. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you that first workout that I did because you don't actually need to be in a gym to be doing it. You can do it at home. If you've got some light dumbbells then feel free to use those. But another great alternative is to just use a water bottle. Obviously there's a bit of weight to that, not tons of weight, but enough for you to be able to do the movement. Um, so let's just dive straight into that. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I started off with some shoulders. First thing I did was some dumbbell or water bottle shoulder presses. Um, everything I did for five to 10 reps just taking it super easy, you don't need to be like going mad fast or anything like that, just take it nice and slow. I also did some side raises and some front raises, those three exercises that I've just said were for the shoulders, so great for shoulder mobility and just getting kind of like, this just because the, I was actually really numb around here, so it was helping for me to be able to get that feeling back as well. We also, we, it was just me, I don't have any friends. I then went on and did some bicep curls. And another thing that I tried on my first session was some overhead tricep presses. This didn't feel good, so I'm just putting it out there. It's an option, but it might be one that you want to avoid for quite a few weeks. Um, yeah, it just didn't feel quite right to me. And then not forgetting the legs, I did some bodyweight squats, some bodyweight lunges, and some bodyweight calf raises. Everything, five to 10 reps, like I say, take it super light. You'll notice that I didn't do any chest. I also didn't do any back as well. Um, I was just taking it really easy. But I also obviously didn't do any chest. I didn't want to go into the gym and straight away just load up my chest. I am now back to doing a bit of chest. I did 15 kilograms today. That's like the heaviest that I'll go for quite a while. Um, but it all feels good. So as long as it feels good and as long as your surgeon says it's okay, um, then you're all good to go. I did this workout two, three times before I started to now go back to my normal routine. Um, and I'm basically now doing my normal routine, sometimes with normal weights, and then on some exercises I'll go very light. But yeah, that is everything that I did post-op. Um, my mobility is completely back, so it's worked for me. Um, hopefully it works for you. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like. Comment down below, tell me if you've given this a go. Um, tell me if you did anything, what did you do? I'll be interested to know. As always, remember to subscribe to see more on my face, and I will see you guys in another video.